right, y'all? Clarence and Chris, I know it's been a minute. I've been away for far too long, and that's my fault. But um, there's a long journey that I haven't talked to you all about. Uh, after the Durango Hellcat, um, I got rid of that. They tried to steal that multiple times, so I got rid of that. I had a Tesla Model Y performance for a little while. I tried to, I tried to make do with that. But ultimately, being a car guy deep down, I missed that engine roar. So what you currently see me in is a GLC 63 AMG. Um, I'm not a Benz guy. I'm not. I did it for almost two years, but uh, it's a nice car. It's just not for me. Um, the V8 is sweet. Ultimately, I miss, um, I miss a sports car. Uh, my wife now has an SUV. So I feel like now's the time to jump back into something sporty, um, something that fits my character. Uh, both kids are in a front-facing car seat now, so uh, I don't need that much room. They're, they're both walking, walking, and they, they, they think they're little adults and don't need assistance, plus dad will just pick them up. Um, and so I think it's time to get back into something sporty, sedanish, something that you know fits my style. Riding over to that dealership now to take a look. Um, it may have been in the works for a really long time. I just hasn't posted any content. Um, I miss content creating, and I'm back. So stay tuned for more content. Several days later. All right, guys. So today's the day. Um, <clears throat> went up Tuesday. Checked the vehicle out. That was. Uh, I guess special order, you know, I did take some time out to put an order in maybe last October for a vehicle because, um, like I said, I was just tired of the Benz. A wonderful car, but it's just not for me. You know, let's listen to our startup, cold start. That... I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds amazing. And it is almost worth me keeping it. But, um, yeah, I'm not a Benz guy. I tried, I tried for a very long time to be a Benz guy. I'm not a Benz guy, I'm not. I, I wish I was. Uh, overall, it's a wonderful vehicle. It's a great vehicle, right? Um, there are nuances or things that, uh, I guess I would complain about where the other people, normal people wouldn't complain about in a performance car. Um, mainly the nine MCT, is that what they call it? It's not a true dual clutch. Um, for me, it's not the, the best thing. Um, and, and that's okay, cause it's, you know, my preference. Um, am I sad to see her go? A little bit. Am I happy for what's coming? Absolutely. <laughs> right? Like, I've been missing this thing for a very long time. And everybody that knows me knows what you're about to see is uh, definitely a better suited vehicle for my driving style and character. Um, I did the SUV life. I tried. We, we had the Durango Hellcat on the channel. Um, the Durango Hellcat didn't get a lot of previews, but I, I drove it for about 4,000 miles before getting rid of it for the Tesla Model Y performance. Um, like I said, where I was residing at that time, they kept trying to break in. And for me, um, it wasn't worth the headache. Um, I probably should have just bought the $35 uh, or $50 thing to disable the engine when I parked it and all that rigmarole. Um, I didn't look too much into it. I do miss the Durango Hellcat. So there's a possibility may one may return. Um, there's something special about a 710 horsepower SUV. Um, but like I said, the Benz is just not, it's not something that fits my character, my driving style. Um, it's definitely a fast vehicle. I will never not say that. Um, it was able to hold my family well. It held up when we had things like parties and stuff like that and I needed equipment. Um, 
to be carried around in there. It did its job. It definitely did its job. Um, it's a great SUV, just just not. Um, yeah, so it, it it's done 85, 90% of what I've asked it to do. Um, like I said, my biggest gripe is the, the transmission and um, the uh, SUV life itself. It's just, just not for me. I tried. I tried. It's just not it's just not something that I'm interested in driving daily. Um, and like I said, the wife, she has a Range Rover Evoque. She'll be behind me soon. Um, so I'll show you her car. Um, it, it Small but mighty. That's what we'll call that, right? Range Rover Evoque, small but mighty. My wife loves that little car. Um, again, I'm just not an SUV person. I think a sedan or a wagon or maybe even a coupe um, can have some type of versatility for a family. A coupe is a stretch, but it depends on what coupe we're talking about. Like a grand coupe, it's four doors, right? Um, that that can work with a family. But uh, yeah, we'll see what it is. Um, what's coming to the channel and what we're look, what I'm looking forward to putting some miles on road trips and uh, modifications. I'm already looking at things like that for what this vehicle is. Uh, super, super excited. Like I said, October of last year, I made a call um, around to some dealerships, see who had allocations and who was willing to work with me um, to put one in and didn't want to beat me over the head for it. So that should let you know it's something special. Um, I was looking at the Integra Type S, uh, the Civic Type R. They were definitely high on my my wish list of a vehicle that could accommodate a family and also be fun to drive daily. Um, that that was my uh, my wish list. You know, I don't care. My wife always says that I'm uh, I'm bougie, so to speak. But me, I don't care what the brand of vehicle is. It's all about speed for me and comfort when driving and taking curves. And uh, when you're entering highways, having that available power to get out of the way of the oncoming semi or someone that may not be paying attention. Those are my, that's my wish list of vehicles. I always want to have a vehicle with enough power. Um, and like I said, I've had a Durango Hellcat. I've had a Charger Hellcat. I've had a BMW M3, X3M. Um, I've had Audi S4s and had an Audi S6. So those are my, my caliber cars. And you hear the two Dodges in there. I don't care. I've had an Infiniti. Uh, I had the Infiniti G37 Coupe and sedan. My sedan was a six-speed. Again, I didn't care as long as it had enough power to get me out of certain situations when entering the highway, merging and things like that. That's what my main concern is about when it comes to a car. Um, it's not necessarily the brand cachet or the name of the car or, you know, color's important. That I will say, color's always important. Um, I'll give you some shots of the the bins. Sorry, somebody almost hit me. Um, I'll give you a shot, some shots of the bins and this color um, was a bold, bold choice for me. It's not something I normally do. Um, but when I was looking for this car, I couldn't find a darker color. I couldn't find a gray. I couldn't find, you know, like a blue or anything like that. It was, or if it was, it was all the way out of Cali and I just wasn't going to Cali. I wasn't flying. I did that once for the Durango Hellcat. I, I'm not doing it again. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll check in with you guys when we get there. All right, so here she is, the GLC 63 AMG. Um, we're gonna say goodbye to her. Like I said, this color choice, there's my wife. This color choice was uh, really different for me. Really, really different for me. And um, it's time to say goodbye to her. It's my wife's car. All right, so <clears throat> as you can see in the background, you can see that uh, that logo, right? I guess you can guess where I'm at and what I'm probably purchasing, what I ordered. Um, 
I'll do a quick spin to kind of show what it may be. Let you see it again. Okay, maybe. Um, yeah, see where we are. Chick fil A. Here's the big reveal. Here she is. Oh. What do you all think that is? What do you think I did? Did something crazy, right? As I always do. those tail lights what do you think it is Ooh. there she is 2024 m3 comp couldn't stay away fellas couldn't stay away. I couldn't stay away from it. Shout out to BMW Mount Laurel. Look, his Crocs match the interior. Shout out to my son for always being excited for whatever daddy does. <laughs> 